Hi, I'm Christy McBride, Director of Hoosier Hills Career Center. So part of what we do here at the Career Center is to make sure that we are preparing students for college, careers, and beyond. Our goal is to make sure that those students that come into our center have marketable, transferable skills that they can use in a variety of um, locations, or to at least give them those entry-level skills where they can keep climbing up the ladder and learning more. So Hoosier Hills, um, Career Center offers opportunities for any student. Um, typically we have juniors and seniors that come to our program, but because we're physically attached to Bloomington North High School, we have freshmen and sophomores who come. We are seated in Monroe County, but we service Owen County, Morgan County, and Green County. We have five different school districts that allow us to serve nine different schools. So we have quite a broad spectrum of folks that we can serve here at the Career Center. We offer um, close to 200 dual credits, completely free of charge to our students. Uh, so students can come out with a technical certificate or if they're really hardworking and they combine their technical skill dual credits and their academic dual credits, they actually can get to an associate's degree. Last spring, we were awarded a grant that is through the Department of Workforce Development called the Skill Up 3 grant. And that allowed for us to bring the Emergency Medical Services Program to Hoosier Hills Career Center. Super excited about that program, not just with the dual credits that are offered, but we've had numerous students ask about what's next. They may take a health science class and say, well, I, I really want to go and do something on the, what about on the ambulance? I want to work on the ambulance or I want to work in the ER. Um, so it really made sense to listen to the students and say, what's, what's next? My name is Mike Hendricks and I'm an instructor here at Hoosier Hills Career Center and I teach the uh, EMT program. I started in 1983 as a first responder and also became an, a CPR instructor in 1983. Have been continuously certified as a CPR instructor and I've also been an EMS continuously since then. Uh, been an EMT and then an advanced EMT. So the EMT course is approximately 160 didactic hours, meaning lecture type hours. Uh, this class runs for the uh, entire school year. And by the time we have all of the sending schools come in, get settled, and then by the time they have to leave early to catch their buses, we get about two and a half hours of, of quality education time in. So I try to make this training as, as realistic as I can, um, knowing that high school students don't have a lot of background to draw from. So we teach in teams. Um, I make the students responsible to each other. Uh, a lot of the homework is taught in a team concept where they have to work together. Uh, we practice as a team and we are responsible to each other for our actions or inactions. Uh, because in EMS we have to work together as a team. If we don't, then our care suffers and the patient suffers. So everything is based on cooperation um, and respect as well as a hierarchy of leadership. So uh, we also use a student team leader. So we, we learn a chain of command in this class as well. We have students who come in from the fire science program. Um, I have students coming in from the medical technology class. And then I have students who come in with no other background whatsoever. When they leave the program, I have students who will go to college and use this for allied health, such as respiratory therapy. I have students who will go into nursing. I've had students go into the military and use the program there. Um, and I've had students go into straight into employment, uh, working at a fire department or an ambulance service. And I'm proud to say that I have uh, two students right now working together in Martinsville on an ambulance. So uh, the students do get to graduate and go into real world experience. So it's mostly high school seniors. And because of the age requirement, we want students to be able to test and get certified by the end of the school year. So in other words, we want students who will be 18 by the end of May. So the aspects of the training are, this is a uh, fully credentialed National Registry EMT program. That curriculum is regulated by the Department of Transportation and it's administrated by the Department of Homeland Security. So we meet all the requirements through Indiana, through Department of Homeland Security, and then as required by National Registry. So the students will earn their National Registry certification first 
then they can transfer that to a State of Indiana certification. The testing is uh, in two parts. One is there's a skills or hands-on portion that involves 13 different skill stations. The nature of the testing is very different than sitting sitting down at a computer and answering questions um, or writing an essay. This is how do you perform with a person strapped on a backboard um, or taking them from one position on the ground to a sitting position. Um, it, it is just a very different type of testing environment. The second part is there's a written test that's on a computer and the computer is predictive in its analysis of whether a student or candidate will pass. And within the first 12 questions, that National Registry exam will know if you're going to pass or not. And it can take you from 70 to approximately 120 questions. Mr. Hendricks, our teacher, just cares a whole lot about every single student. He wants everybody to pass. So he'll do anything he can to help them. The advantage of taking the training here in a career center setting is the students or the, the candidates um, are getting the training now while they're young uh, and so potential employers such as the fire department are not having to pay for that training. These students graduate with their credentials so they're already employable, they're ready to work. EMTs, are, are their skill sets are becoming more and more valuable uh, as the population increases and as the need for more physicians and more healthcare workers increases, EMTs will be utilized more and more. There is a definite high demand. We've actually had folks from Indianapolis, the Indianapolis EMT uh, outreach coordinator came down and shared with our students and <laughs> was trying to recruit them because the need is across the state. I would highly recommend this course, especially in this setting, because it is a college level course. The students get seven and a half hours of college credit through Ivy Tech. Those transfer across the state. So if a student wants to go into nursing, if they want to go into allied health, they've got an excellent start to a college education program. I've had students who've told me they, they love coming to class every day because it's like Christmas every day. I'm always opening some new box and they're, they're getting to see something new or experience something new and, and every day is different. More folks are trying to figure out what they can actually do to help others, which is heartwarming. You know, that's what we want to see. We want to grow that compassion and these students absolutely want to do those things to serve. The ability for us to offer our students and folks from the community the stair-stepping ability to just keep going up that ladder and getting more training and going further with what you want to do for your profession, you know, that's really what it's all about.